Okay, so the 831B, and Clay, I'll let you jump in here too, but I've always talked about, especially when we're talking about traditional property and, and casualty coverages, they are, they're there to cover you, right? They're the pillars or the foundation of your risk mitigation strategy. But you take an 831B and you wrap it around, right? Those, those pillars and it fills in the gaps where you're uncovered or where you have, you're underserved in your traditional insurance. And that's, that's the way we look at it is it smooths in those rough spots so that that little tiny thing that all of a sudden you're like, how could that ever happen? But all of a sudden you're in it. That's where an 831B responds. Clay, that's, at least that's how I, I talk about it. Yeah. I mean, I think the last three years has made that painfully obvious, right? Nobody ever dreamt of a, a worldwide pandemic or, you know, receiving some email for a $90,000 invoice that came from some ran, you know, some random place. Uh, but until you, until it happens, if you haven't thought of it or tried to prep for it by taking some excess revenues to set it aside, right. it's too late. So it's definitely a proactive approach, as you said, Bree. Um, but I mean, it's, it's kind of part of just owning a business and just trying to plan ahead. Oh, 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 oh,